Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taryn and this is Taryn Holistics. So today I just wanted to do a video for you where I just basically show you some of the seeds that I'm excited to grow this upcoming garden season. And I also want to talk about some of the seed varieties that I really liked and some of the seed varieties that didn't do as well last garden season. Um, so yes, without further ado, stay tuned for the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with basil. So I love growing basil and to be honest, I really don't need to grow too much basil because I did grow some basil um, last uh, summer and I, it, I did, it did fairly well so I still have some basil that I preserved in my pantry um, and I really just use that for sauces like if I'm making a, like a pasta sauce or something I put some basil on it or some pizza or something so I don't think I need to plant as many but I will plant some and so I'm gonna plant either this um, this one is from seeds of change and I believe I just got this from the store I went to, um, let me give you a close up. I went to like Home Depot or something and, and they just sold these. I think that's where I got this from. I'm either gonna plant this variety or the Fairy Morse. So I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna do one of these two. Um, but I know I'm not going to plant the botanical interest seeds. And I don't know what it is, but sometimes I notice that I don't have uh, the best of luck when I plant botanical interest seeds I'm not sure why that is um I think sometimes the seeds don't germinate as well but again that excuse me that could be that I just didn't um I, I may have planted the seeds a little bit too deep because I do that sometimes so I'm gonna just chill out on using botanical interest right now and I'm gonna stick with my other um seeds that I got from other places now I'm going to show you butternut squash. So here's the thing. I've never grown butternut squash before ever, but I want to um, try to grow it. Um, I do enjoy eating butternut squash occasionally. Um, so I'm, I'm probably just going to grow, I'll probably only drop one or two seeds of butternut squash. But these are the two um, companies that I bought butternut squash seeds from. The first one is M.I. Gardener, and I believe he has a YouTube channel, I think. And the other one I got from the store, and this is just Burpee Organics. So I'm going to probably do maybe Burpee is what I'll try, and I'll let you know how that does. Okay, now for other things. I want to also grow some celery because I eat celery pretty much every day to be honest every day um and i'll probably do well let me tell you the kind that i have or where i bought the seeds from so as you can see i have one variety from uh, that, that i got from seeds of change and this one i got from an, a local asian market so that's where i got this from i hope you can see the sun is um the Making it hard to sing it right now. I'm sorry, but yes. So I, I got those two, and I think I'm going to do seeds of change. Um, I think that this is the one that I will actually plant in the ground or sow in the ground. And again, this will be my first time growing celery, so I'm very excited, and I will let you know how that does. Chamomile. So a lot of these, um, a lot of these fruits and vegetables that I grow in my in, in this upcoming summer garden. This will be the first time that I'm um, planting some of these um, fruits and vegetables because in my last two summer gardens, I really just stuck with peppers and um, tomatoes. I planted mostly peppers and tomatoes um, and one cucumber variety, but that was mostly it. So now we're just really kind of um, widening our variety of what we plant. So it'll be a lot of first, but... I'm also going to plant some chamomile. So I actually already sowed these seeds um, in my greenhouse. So I'm just trying to get them started, um, you know, a little bit ahead of the time. Or I want to get them started um, before spring really gets here so that when spring comes, they'll already be healthy and big. So I planted the chamomile already. 
And I actually did use Botanical Interest um, for um, the chamomile. And it's doing quite well, I, I believe. I, I believe the seeds have germinated, which is good. So, like, like I said, Botanical Interest um, is either a hit or miss when it comes to seed germination. But the chamomile did good. But I also do have Johnny's seeds and, and, um, for the chamomile as well. So, this could be um, a variety that I try next summer so chickpeas here's the thing about this this is my first time trying to well actually that's not true i planted some chickpeas um late fall like no that that that's well i late summer yeah i planted some chia seeds in late summer and they started to grow very well the seeds germinated very quickly um, but then they just kind of um, got stunted growth. They they really haven't grown much since um, the, the the fall, and so I'm trying to figure out why that is. Now, granted, it could be because it's just too cold. I mean, I know beans mostly grow in the summer, so I'm thinking if I just plant these again this summer and actually give them time to grow. Um, I might go ahead and plant them in spring, then maybe they will do better. But I simply got these um, organic chickpea seeds um, off of Etsy. And it's by, a, um, the the company that sold them on Etsy is called For the Love of Seeds. So, I'll try it again. Um, okay, so, chia seeds. This is my first time trying to grow chia seeds. I'm a little nervous. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Just because I don't know what to expect. I've never grown them before at all. But um, I got these seeds from a um, seed company based in Florida. Um, and it's called Seed Mail Seed Co. The woman who owns this brand, um, she's a black woman and she lives in Florida. She's amazing. And her seeds germinate excellent for me. Excellent. I've never had any problems with her seeds germinating so i'm excited to grow the chia seeds like i said i will continue i need to do more research just so i know um how to properly grow them but i am excited to grow them i'm also going to grow some arugula this summer and i'm gonna plant seeds of change seeds of change so you can see it that's what i'm gonna plant this summer for my arugula and I love arugula very much. It's just good to add to um, my salads and dressings and things like that. I love it. Come in. But I'm going to grow some cilantro. And I see that I only have um, some cilantro from one company. I thought I had more. Well, I have some cilantro from um, Botanical Interest. And before I found other places to purchase my seeds, I purchased a lot of my herb seeds from Botanical Interest. So that's why you'll, you'll see that a lot in my um, seed collection. Um, but these did really well last summer. So I will plant them again. I will plant them again. I will plant some cow peas. So I have some cow peas. Um, I just got some from uh, Fairy Morse. So these, you can find Fairy Morse in your local um, grocery store. No, well, not grocery store. Um, hardware store like Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, cucumbers. I'll plant some cucumbers. Um, I'll be doing, I have a lot of variety of cucumbers. So that's one of my favorite things to grow. Um, I'll just probably do, I'll probably plant these from Baker Creek, Baker Creek heirloom seeds. My, uh, pardon me. And this variety is called Boston Pickling Cucumber. That's my favorite for my favorite variety of cucumber to plant. And this one is called Hybrid Greenhouse Cucumber. And this is from Johnny's Selected Seeds. I may plant this also. Um, I'm not sure if how if I'll have enough room to plant two varieties of cucumbers. So I have to think on that, but I know for a fact I will be planting the Boston Pickling Cucumber because they're really great um, to pickle, obviously, but they're also just very sweet. I, I think they're just so sweet, and um, you, you have to be careful when you harvest them because they, they will 
hurt your hands that the, the skin is very prickly so you have to be careful with that but they're very sweet and i love them okay and of course i'm gonna plant some flowers so i'm gonna plant some calendula flowers that i got from baker creek heirloom seeds so i'm very excited about that i want to make tea and other um, beauty products using these fresh calendula flowers i'm also going to plant some milkweed um, milkweed for the butterflies. I know butterflies love milkweed. And then I'm going to be planting some zinnias. Okay, this this will be my first time planting zinnias, um, but I'm very excited. Again, this will be for the, really because I think zinnias are pretty. Let, let me be honest, I think they're very pretty. So I'm going to plant zinnias for that reason only. Um, yeah, but I'm going to be planting nasturtiums because they are a really good, um, companion plant as they say i hope you can see that the lighting isn't as great right now um my, my apologies but yeah um nasturtiums are a really good companion plant meaning that if you plant them next to certain um fruits and vegetables um it will help those fruits and vegetables to grow better and it will also help to deter pests from those fruits and vegetables because the pests will kind of focus on this and not focus so much on you know the the other plant that you're trying to grow um same thing goes with the marigold marigold is a great companion plant as well i'll do a video on companion plants too like a whole video on that so so we'll just get a better understanding of that but marigolds are great and they're beautiful they're beautiful um i actually saved some of my own marigold seeds from last summer so i really don't need to even plant these um but echinacea i hope i said that right i'm gonna be planting some of this too because they're really pretty okay and oh those most of those seeds came from uh baker creek farm or and or burpee burpee okay now i'm going to be showing you i'm going to show you some of the beans that i'm going to plant and the uh I don't think I'm gonna plant okra. If I do plant okra, it'll be only just one plant and I'll just save it for when I make gumbo because I, I wanna make some gumbo and oh, you obviously need okra to put in gumbo. So I may do one plant of okra. Um, when my grandma was still alive, she loved, loved okra. Um, and I, I, but I didn't harvest it right and so she really couldn't eat it. She only got to try my okra once because I finally harvested it during the correct time frame. But I, I normally grew okra for her. But I'll grow one plant this summer and it'll be from Seeds of Change. Um, if you can see that, Seeds of Change. And again, I got this from um, the grocery store. Not the grocery store, I'm sorry. The hardware store, Home Depot to be exact. I will also plant some beans. This will be my first time planting um, green beans. And I'm gonna plant Burpees Organics green beans. And I believe I got these right from the, the um, hardware store. And you should get the seeds right now because they're gonna be on sale um, right now. But if you wait until uh, growing season comes, you'll be paying full price for everything. I also have some um, green bean seeds of a different variety that I got from Etsy. So the ones that I got from Bur Burpee are the Bush Blue Lake variety. These from Etsy are called the Slender Slenderette Green Bean. Um, I've never actually heard of this variety before, so I'm like, why did I purchase it? Oh well, I'm. We'll, we'll see what it does. I might plant. Gosh, planting both of them. I don't know. I'm probably just gonna plant the Bush Blue Lake. I'm gonna be planting. Um, just a few hot peppers um and i'll probably plant these from seed mail seed co so the jalapeno the serrano hot pepper from seed mail seed co this is from burpee a lot of these just come right from the hardware store i, I they'll they'll have a a sale and i'll just get them and um they sell lots of burpee and they sell lots of um, seeds of change so that lavender is from burpee and then let's see the lemon balm. I already started the lemon balm in my greenhouse. And the lemon balm is from, um, wow, it's from Botanical Interest. 
Well, all right then. I will also plant some more lettuce. Before I move on, I'm gonna plant some more lettuce. I'm gonna plant some, um, two different kinds of lettuce. I'm gonna do, and this, this, this will be in spring. I'll try to finish planting my lettuce and greens in spring before it gets too hot. Um, but these both came from um, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds and they are the Crisp Mint Lettuce and the Merlot. I think that's how you say it. Merlot. Merlot. Something like that. Hey y'all, I'm back. I'm sorry, my camera cut off for some reason. Um, but I'll finish this up. So the thyme that I'm purchased, I got it from Johnny Selected Seeds and the variety is German, German Winter Thyme. German winter time. Tomatoes. I have already started some tomatoes in my greenhouse. And a lot of them I started um, are heirloom um, seeds. So I know I did these. Um, I, I don't know if I purchased these off of... I can't remember where I purchased these from. I'm so sorry. But the company is called Sweet Yards Seed Co. Sweet Yards Seed Co. And this variety is a pink brandywine heirloom tomato. And I also did the yellow brandywine heirloom tomato from the same company. I can't remember where exactly I, I purchased them from. I don't think I bought them online because I never heard of this company before. But I planted them and they're doing well. This is the one that I planted. I planted the Roma tomatoes that I got from Seed Mouse Seed Co. They're called Speckled Roman Tomato. Speckled Roman Tomato from Seed Mail Seed Co. Let me see. Yes, and I also planted this beefsteak tomato, the classic beefsteak tomato from ba Baker Creek Heirloom Seed. I'm really excited to plant some of these tomato varieties. I mean, <laughs> watermelon varieties. And I'll show you why. Again, this, where did I get this from? I must have bought this online from somewhere because I just don't recall this company. But Sweet Yards Seed Co. They have this really beautiful um, watermelon um, that's called Moon and Stars. And these seeds are, are organic. But look at how beautiful that, that is. Basically, it literally looks like there's stars on the actual um, flesh of the, the, the skin of the watermelon. It looks so beautiful. I'm planting this for sure. Um, what else are we going to plant? Um, oh, this one. This is from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds and it's called the Georgia Rattlesnake. And it's basically huge. Okay, and then I have some zucchini squash. So, to be honest, I haven't had that much luck with growing this um, zucchini. Um, but I'm not gonna give up. And I got some new um, seeds. Well, I, I purchased these from Seed Mail Seed Co. And, um, you know, we'll see how they do. But this is the Black Beauty. And then this is the Early Crookneck Squash. I hope I said that right. So, for right now, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the seeds that I plan on growing this summer. And why I like growing them. So, um, that's all for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you for another video. Bye!